From the beginning of 20th century onwards, scientists de developed three main theories in order to distinguish metals as conductors, semiconductors, and insulators. So the basic three theories are the classical theory, quantum theory, and band theory of solids. Since classical theory was developed by Lorentz and Drude, which is a failure model because of wrong assumptions, and at the same time, the quantum theory was developed by Sommerfeld, which is also a failure model because of wrong assumptions. Uh, so, in order to overcome that problems, uh, scientists developed a theory called band theory of solids. Since it is a collective work, so there is no particular scientist name for that. So, the band, in band theory of solids, the first idea was put forwarded by a scientist called Bloch, Felix Bloch. So, simply it is, we can start with the Bloch theorem. So, according to Bloch theorem, what he says is, Electron, or if you take any metal, it's a combination of positive ion sites. It's a lattice arrangement, a periodic arrangement. Since so the, these are all the lattice ion sites through which the electrons can travel. So, based on the behavior of electron, one can decide whether the metal is semiconductor or conductor or insulator. So, according to Bloch, since the electrons are not passing in a uniform potential, they are passing through a periodic potential. So, see how. Uh, at the lattice point, the electron can move freely. In between the lattice point, the electron cannot move freely. So, why because at the lattice point, it is interacting with only one nucleus, means one positive ion site. In between, it is almost interacting with the neighboring nucleus one. So, it, here it can travel slowly, here it can travel freely. So, what he assumed is at the lattice point, the electrons or the potential of the lattice is minimum. In between, the potential is maximum. So, if it is a minimum potential, so that electron can move freely. Uh, in between, the potential is maximum, so electron cannot move freely. That means electron is possessing both uh, free nature and in constrained nature. So, whatever it is, since the electrons are obeying the quantum mechanics rules, means it's moving like wave through the lattice points. Uh, the appropriate equation, mathematical equation, is nothing but Schrodinger equation. The Schrodinger equation of that particular electron which is passing through the lattice points is given by rho square psi by rho x square plus 2m by h cross square of e minus v of x of psi is equal to 0, which is a well known equation, which is a Schrodinger equation. So now, for this one, according to Bloch, the solution of this particular equation means for the electron which is passing through the periodic potential is given by, according to Bloch, it is given by psi of x equals to uk of x into e power ikx, where e power ikx is a periodic wave function and uk of x is a periodicity. So every time it is enhanced by uk of uh, x plus a, where a is the interatomic distance. So now which is most useful in deciding the metal is of conductor or semiconductor or insulator. This is the first idea which is developed by Bloch. So now after this the same is developed by chronic penny to show whenever the electron is passing through uh, lattice points. Uh, the allowed energy values of electrons are, are made up of are developed like the bands, allowed bands and forbidden bands. The basic idea and band theory was first put forward by, put forward by Bloch and the periodicity or the potential graph can be given as according to Bloch at the lattice point at the lattice point and we have one more concept in between the lattice point so at the lattice point the potential V of X is minimum in between V of X the potential of the crystal is minimum or sometimes we can assume as zero in between the potential V of X is maximum. So if it is a potential is minimum, so the electron can move freely. 
in between it cannot move freely. So the potential graph can be given as at the lattice point minimum, in between it is maximum. So the graph can be drawn like this. So simply this is called a Bloch theorem, which is most important in while deciding or to develop a theory to say whether the metals of conductors are semiconductors or insulators.